there, there's a ton of technical advance happening now uh, in, the, uh, in Arbitrum. Um, the Arbitrum DAO is in control of what gets adopted and what doesn't get adopted, and our team or um, others might propose something, but ultimately the DAO's in control. But the things that are before the DAO right now, um, I think is a good s sort of sample. Um, there are three big upgrades that are being discussed there. One of them is called Bold, which is an update, which is the next generation proving technology that's still optimistic style of proving, but which makes proving the, the proving a part of the system fully permissionless, um, meaning any one user can participate and any one user can force the system to execute correctly. Um, and, and so that's a big, big upgrade. Um, and that is on testnet being currently uh, debated by the DAO. Second is Stylus. This is a technology that, what we call the multi-VM, which says that um, you can still run every Ethereum program because you still have support for EVM, full support, but also you have the ability, if you want, as a developer, to write your smart contract in any programming language, not just the kind of special languages that are used by, for blockchain like Solidity. Now you can write in Rust or C or C++. Those standard programming languages that have great tooling and huge developer communities. And that means several things. It means, one, that a lot more developers can onboard into the blockchain space much more easily because they can use tools and languages they already know and they're already using in their, say, Web2 jobs. Number two is there's a lot of existing code out there written in those languages, including things like well-audited um, cryptography libraries that now you can bring on-chain. Um, and number three is that um, execution of code in Stylus is much more efficient. And so you can do a lot more computation. You can do many more types of applications using the same gas. So that's Stylus. Um, and the, the, the beauty of this is that it's all fully interoperable, composable. That means that an application can be written in the traditional way um, for EVM, it can be written in this new way. Users don't have to know um, that a, a contract or application written one way can call one written the other way. Everything just works. So that's Stylus. We think that's a huge upgrade to the basic execution model and unlocks a lot of new uh, activity. And then the third one, um, also in front of the DAO now, is Time Boost which is a way for uh, Arbitrum chains to capture the value of MEV, things like arbitrage or, um, that are happening on their chains. And instead of that value being captured by uh, MEV searchers who are outside the system, it can be captured by the chain and then used for the pur whatever purposes the DAO or chain owner has. So those are just the things that are currently being debated by the DAO. Um, and there's really kind of almost a, a, a log jam of events of significant upgrades behind that. Um, you know, the, I think the pace of innovation, at least in the Arbitrum space, is accelerating even over where it's been. Um, there's a ton of stuff coming, performance improvements, um, uh, more cross-chain functionality, faster withdrawals.